beer battered fish and some oil and vinegar sloth. It has to marinate at least one hour. And this is one pound of cabbage, one large carrot that I shredded up on our box grater, some white distilled vinegar. Of course you can substitute cider vinegar. If you have that, it should be in the fridge if it's open, heads up. Two half a cup of vinegar, I added about three tablespoons of sugar. I just eyeballed it. Uh, to that, we added one tablespoon of salt. Fine sea salt is what I used. And about two teaspoons of celery seed. That ratio will change if you use celery salt, of course, okay? Uh, I added also grapeseed oil, completely innocuous oil. A couple of turns of the bowl. You don't need a lot of oil in slaw. It's all about the vinegar and doing a quick pickle on the cabbage and the carrot. All we did to dress this was put a little squish of lemon juice, half a lemon, and I just sprinkled it with a little fine sea salt. That's all that's going on here. And for every four adults, you want about two pounds of firm, sturdy fish. So halibut, snapper, in this case, our sustainable cod. We're gonna make a really simple beer batter. So I used self-rising flour, about two cups, to 12 ounces of lager beer. And we're just gonna whisk that together slowly, slowly. It's one can or bottle of beer to the two cups of the self-rising flour. That's just about perfect. Now, depending, and I'm not kidding, Depending on the weather, how hot it is in your kitchen, how much sun is coming in through the window, you're really gonna have to eyeball this. This is what you want. See this? Pours right off the tip of the whisk. I'm gonna take these end pieces, kind of thick, but small end pieces. I have a quart of oil, I use safflower oil. and I've got it between medium and medium high heat, and we need to do a test run, basically. I have the oven on warm, about 260, and we've got some great golden color already, and it's puffing up nicely. The next thing you need is a place to remove the fish to. That's our setup here. We have a wire rack over a parchment line for easy cleaning tray with some sort of tool. I like to use a spider to flip the fish around, babysit it, and get it out of there. It'll take about three minutes total. Now for my tartar sauce, I do not use mayonnaise. I use either thick, full-fat Greek yogurt or I use sour cream. So a nice fat squish of lemon juice. Today I had dill in the fridge, so I put a ton of dill and a little chive. You can add salt and pepper, I always do to most things. I'm, I'm a spicy, zesty gal. And then for our pickled choices, I have both capers that I chopped, and I chopped cornichon rather than just going with relish. Or for texture, you can use some chopped cornichon, which is a little bit stronger, has some baby onions mixed in. Here's our capers, okay? I'd say total, that's about a half a cup. And I also put in a little bit of sweet relish. I like that balance of sweet and chunky when it comes to the pickled ingredients. Okay guys, here's our last batch of big, beautiful chunks of fish coming out of the hot oil. Now we can turn that off. The last of the snibbly bits, as I call them, very professional term, are coming out. Little sprinkle of salt over the hot fish when it first comes out. I always serve our fish with malt vinegar and hot sauce on the side and our oil and vinegar slaw, and of course, our lemon wedges. 